Hi everyone, this is a free roam reading. We're going to have a look and see what's coming through. This is for all signs, whatever star sign you are, we're going to have a look and see what messages, information, clarity I can give to you and we are going to have a look. We're going to see. All right, so I've got your cards right here. All right, we are ready to go. I'm really excited, very intrigued to see what is coming your way. If you're here, it must be a sign within itself. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention a few things actually that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, those are done within 12 to 24 hours with me. They are listed down below as well if you are interested. Um, so they're on my website. And the last thing I wanted to mention is my intention manifesting items, which thousands of people have seen results with, um, which, you know, there's a whole review section at the bottom of my website, which is shopmoonlightguidance.com. You can find everything linked down below. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse. So they're really special and definitely do check them out as well. You know, bracelets, anklets, anklets, <laughs> anklets necklaces, um, embroidered cards, intention pouches, crystals, candles, sage, everything's linked down below. Um, and they're for different intentions in your life. All right, so let's have a look and see what is coming through. I'm really excited to see. Wow. Do you know what? As I look at all of these cards, and I'm just going to do that. So far, what I see is stability. This has been a long time coming for some of you. You've just been sort of, well thinking to yourself, when am I going to be stable? When is stability coming? A lot of you, the main thing that I feel a lot of you, for example, perhaps watch tarot readings on, or that you worry about, you wonder about, you ponder about, is stability. That's it. It's interesting, isn't it? Whether that's to do with love, whether that's to do with money, whether that's to do with your home environment, your relationships, you know, friendships, love, friends studying, right? What does the future look like? What's coming? What's going to happen? That's what many of you are wondering about. And the first four cards, it's interesting, I can see four cards specifically, and then four are facing down. I think there's four facing down. Well, there's three facing down, but there's four that I can see. Now, four is also the number which represents stability. It's known to be the four walls of a home, right? The number four is also about a foundation, tables have four legs, right? Chairs usually have four legs. <laughs> um, so it's really interesting that we've got that sort of balancing energy and, and that energy of stability. Also, you've got the Hierophant dressed in red. And red is the color of the root chakra. Again, fascinating to me that there is a correlation between all of these cards, even with, right, the world card. You've got here, again, this aspect of stability and balance. Nine of Pentacles is stability within yourself. So it's really fascinating to me that there are opportunities coming which are going to provide more and more stability in your life, give you so much more of that uh, excitement. And for many of you, you've been thinking about stability in regards to love. It's coming. It's coming soon. I really, really feel it. Now, this is a timeless reading. So from whenever you're watching this, this is what I see. Next six months are crucial because this is when things are going to start to align for you. You've been worrying and wondering when it's going to happen. When is it going to happen? Keep an eye on the next six months, not from when this video is posted, but from when you're watching it. Even with the Four of Pentacles, I feel here that there is stability in regards to money. So there's going to be a nice flow of money coming in where you have this independence, right? Where you can do the things that you want to. You can spend your money how you want. You can save it how you want, or you can invest it how you want. What does money do? It gives you more options, right? As to what you choose to do with it and where you choose to put it or how you spend it. The Hierophant is about commitment and stability in regards to relationships. So friends that come in don't just randomly disappear. Love that comes in doesn't randomly just disappear. This is about true, true stability where it is long term. Long term and it just gives you peace of mind peace of mind where you don't have to worry every three seconds. How does this person feel about me? What are they thinking about me now? Why are they acting this way? Oh my gosh, am I going to 
have to give up my home because I can't afford, you know, no, you won't be thinking about those things because you will have stability. So for example, I see many of you also thinking about buying a home or moving out. And it's interesting because you will be able to have that stability for long term where you can pay, let's say, you know, you can pay your mortgage, you can pay your rent, you can pay your bills. You won't have to worry like, oh no, what if tomorrow my job gets taken away from me? The main thing here is that even if things like that do happen, you will get a better opportunity that can cover that up. So I just want you to know that the universe works in interesting ways. And I do also see some beautiful job opportunities coming your way, which gives you that stability because a lot of the times that's linked to your finances. And for those of you who are studying, you might think I am taking a gamble. I am taking a risk. I don't know if this is going to give me the, a job in the future. I will say that you'll be really surprised that the universe is really, it is working in your favour and I genuinely believe there are beautiful opportunities where you'll have a stable career and you will have a very, very um, stable family life as well where you'll feel extremely supported as well. So that's another thing. Oh yeah, look at this. See, we, you can't make this up. Wheel of Fortune. Do you know what? I, I, I feel like so many of you have taken risks in certain aspects of your life, certain risks with perhaps relationships, certain risks with um, your career, uh, certain risks in certain aspects of your life. It's like a dice or a die if you have one. I actually have, I actually have one as well. Should we, we should roll the dice as well or the die. Should we roll two so I can say dice? Because you know what, sometimes it feels weird saying die because die is one, but it just feels weird saying that. Um, I'll do that because they've got numbers and those numbers could be very fascinating. So we'll definitely do that because that could point out some interesting numbers. But what I will say is that the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy. Jupiter is not going to let you down because Jupiter is about luck, abundance, prosperity, money, success, and stability. <laughs> it really is. What you are envisioning as your dream goal, your dream stability, right? That is going to happen. Let me know what it is that you crave so much in the comment section below. You could write like love, you could write family, friendship, you could um, write, you know, a beautiful job, an award. What is that one thing that is just something that you are so much so thinking about? Because that is going to come together, but so are other areas of your life in harmony. The Eight of Pentacles really goes to show that you're, you're, you're getting your way to this. You really are. Eight of Pentacles shows keep working hard, keep doing as you're doing, keep going, right? Ace of Wands here shows that things are working behind the scenes for you. It's been a long time coming for some of you. You've been just working and working and working, dawn to dusk, dawn to dusk, perhaps even all-nighters, building, building, building. Yeah, some of you are perhaps have businesses as well where you're just like going, 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 and then, you know, something like the pandemic comes along. I just feel here in so many ways that it's been a long time coming, but there's going to be abundance. Next six months are crucial and key. Keep working hard. Keep doing what you can. Of course, take rest in between. That's really important. Rest, of course, is part of rejuvenation. You want to make sure that you take care of yourself. Like That's really important. Remember the law of duality, okay? If you are working, 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 you have to sometimes do the opposite, which is rest to recharge. It's like if you use a phone, right? You can't like keep using it because eventually it's going to run out of battery. You've got to then charge it. So make sure you recharge, recharge on, yep, full, new pathway is going to open up, there's going to be a real sense of happiness, three of wands, bit of patience, okay, bit of patience, now there's a difference between waiting and having patience, I recommend waiting, you know, I recommend you continue to do what you're doing, continue to work hard, very important, I'm going to give you a really solid analogy, I hope you like this analogy, Hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't, but hey. Sometimes, right, when people know what's coming in the future, not saying that this is you, they can just end up waiting for whatever's coming in the future. Say someone comes to me and I say, wow, you're gonna be you're gonna be doing so well in your future. I'm just gonna give you an example, okay? You're gonna be a millionaire in the future, let's say, okay? Imaginary person. Okay, the Sphinx comes to me. You're gonna be a millionaire, Mr. Sphinx. The Sphinx goes, wow, that's amazing. I'm going to have all of this abundance. Cool. Now I'm going to sit here and wait until that comes to me because that's what's written in my future. Thing here is that we also have to work with it. Remember, the universe works with us. That's really important. Dreams don't work unless we do. 
So the Sphinx is sitting there waiting for this abundance to come, but in the actual key details, it's written that the Sphinx would perhaps, you know, naturally if the Sphinx wouldn't have known that, the Sphinx would have probably built their own business and that would have led them to that fortune. But now the Sphinx is waiting and nothing is happening. Sphinx gets annoyed, right? So what's really important is that you continue to work hard towards your goals and your dreams. It's okay to know what's coming in the future, but you also want to just continue on that same trajectory. Very, very important. Very, 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 very important. Because that's actually what's going to lead you to the abundance. You don't want to wait. You want to be patient at times with yourself. You want to rest, recover, but you want to continue to work hard because that hard work is what leads you in the right direction. Do not sit there and wait and give up on your job and things like that. I just have to say that because some people think take things so literally to the point where then they stop doing what they're actually doing and they just expect the universe will give to them. So I just have to say that for maybe one person who's maybe thinking that, okay? <laughs> one person, but it's probably, it may not be you, okay? So very important. Now the Sphinx is like, okay, yep, cool. Gonna keep working hard. Gonna keep pulling that chariot. I'm on it. I'm on it, Moonlight. Great, because that's what's gonna take the Sphinx to the destination okay? Not just the Sphinx randomly ending up at the destination. Okay, so now we're on the same page here. We've got the Knight of Swords. We've also got the Queen of Wands. I need to grab my dice as well. I'm really excited about that. But the Queen of Wands here also shows a glow up. You will be feeling internally and externally very happy, very ecstatic, very fulfilled, very motivated. The Knight of Swords shows many opportunities. You can be patient, but do not wait for things to come. Continue to work hard while still, you know, resting and taking care of yourself. Working hard, dreams don't work unless we do, continue to do those things because, you know, even through, like, remember I mentioned as well is that, for example, rejection can be redirection. Always know that. Always, always know that there are things that can lead you to a better path. The universe can change your path for your highest good. That's actually very exciting. King of Pentacles, okay, there is a lot of stability coming your way. A huge, I'm a huge believer of that. Um, I just feel in this reading that there is so much security coming your way. I mean, the King of Pentacles is one of the most stable, most stable in terms of finances, most stable in terms of, let's say, even mentally and emotionally feeling good, feeling warm, feeling uh, happy in their home environment, feeling very fulfilled, very excited, feeling very motivated, like all of this, very, very important as well. So I think that's really, really significant um, on so many levels. I mean, literally, you've got some of the most stable you know, cards here in that sense. Oh, we were literally just speaking about the Sphinx and the chariot. Ta-da! Okay, so the Sphinx is going to pull the chariot, continue to keep doing what you're doing. Um, don't focus just on the destination, right? That's really important. Focus on the journey. That's very important because the journey will take you to that destination. But once you get to the destination, there'll still be more to do. So I think it's really important here. Consistency is key. Continue to work hard. Continue to do what you're doing. This is really important. Take care of yourself emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. This has been a long time coming, but you're going to have all areas and aspects of your life become so much more stable. I'm talking friendships. I'm talking relationships in terms of love. I'm talking here, um, you know, family dynamics being a more like much more smoother. Talking about finances, your home life, how you're respected, how you're treated, very important. Let me get my dice. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what it is that you specifically want in terms of stability. But let me just get, get my dice here. They are in here somewhere. I just have to find them. Ooh, I do have three. The problem is though that I have got two roll them and rolling them on my table is not exactly the most ideal thing um okay well you know sometimes we just got to do things so i'm just going to use this like little hair wrap thing that i have which is like a little towel <laughs> so random but I have these right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll all three of them and there are certain numbers that can resonate with you like these could be dates, um, these numbers could have special meaning towards you. The first number I did want to mention is number four which we picked up on straight away at the beginning of the reading so let's have a look at the other numbers okay so I'll roll this one. Number one, that's you. Wow, that's really interesting. Number one, even though you can't even see it, actually if I do it like that then you can actually really see it. Let's do this one. Sorry if it like hurts your ears, etc. I've got number five. Ooh, fives actually. Fives are about changes. 
that's really interesting. So there's a change coming your way. Fives are really about change. And number one is about like that self and yourself and taking care of yourself and putting yourself first, which actually naturally leads to change and stability, which is the number four that we see. Um, five minus one is also four. So that's interesting. And then let's go with this last one right here. We've got the number six. So that's interesting. We've got progress. Now, number six is actually very, very lucky um, in tarot because every single card that is the number six in tarot is actually very, very prosperous. Now, you might think to yourself, yourself well first of all I mean like you haven't got any sixes on your spread but second of all it is very prosperous <laughs> because the number six is about journey and the journey is what we literally described if you look at every single tarot card which is a number six in tarot you'll see that there is an evident journey and there is an evident um, abundance that is tied to it even the six of swords is about emotionally taking yourself to a better place the six of cups here is about an opportunity um, the six of wands is about celebration victory success and the six of pentacles is about balance so really you're you're going, okay, to a place of balance, you're going to a place of victory, you're going to a place of opportunity, you are taking yourself to that, so that's again something that we're seeing, which I think is so, so beautiful, and so the numbers make a lot of sense personally, if you ask me, but it's just wonderful to pick up on, so I really hope that this reading helped you, of course, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below, this has been a long time coming, so many of you deserve what is going to come your way in the next six months, I think it's so exciting, so motivating, so awesome, but let me know what you think about it all and definitely don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway and of course intention items which are on my website and do take care everyone as well. I also have TikTok and Instagram if anyone wants to follow me on there feel free to check out the description box below, all the handles are there as well. I'll see you all very soon, bye everyone!